Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. I guess you are doing fine wherever you are. All right, so let's uh, try to revise this exam question with me right here. I guess you are fine wherever you are. But before we answer this question, I'm kindly asking you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. All right, so um, we have the first question here where we're asked to find the value of k so how do you find the value of k so you must indicate okay your a so you say this is uh, a one okay so we are trying to calculate the value of uh, of k so how do we do it basically you just uh, get the given uh, function which is uh, this one right here. So when you get the given function, uh, you, you substitute. Okay, we have a 3 here. You substitute the value of uh, x. This is uh, the y value, or this is y, which is representing, uh, or the k here will represent y. So we shall say k. If you can see nicely on the table values, we have got... Uh, y-axis and uh, x-axis so for y-axis we get k to put it here and then for x-axis we get what is on top there which is a negative three so wherever there is a x we shall put a negative three and uh, work out things so you find that the value of k will simply be equal to negative seven so you just calculate, you can punch on your calculator. So when you punch on a calculator, you definitely get a negative uh, seven. Okay. So let me let me let me try to confirm if what I'm getting is uh, is is okay, it's true. Okay, so we have negative uh, three. So remember, because of this negative, remember to put it uh, inside the brackets. And then I've got power three minus uh minus 5 there we have a negative 3 plus 3 okay it's giving us negative uh, 9 it's negative 9 not negative 3 so this is negative uh, 9 right here i mean not negative 7 okay so that's why it's very important to confirm your work whenever you're doing your work try by all means to confirm if what you're doing is uh, right so i've punched on my calculator it has given me negative nine all right so the next question here they want us to to graph so if you can see they have given us the range using the scale of two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis for negative three is less or equal to x less or equal to three and two centimeters to represent five units on the y-axis for negative 10 is less or equal to y less or equal to negative uh, i mean less or equal to 20 draw the graph of y is equal to x power 3 minus 5 x plus 3 the important thing here is to understand the scale okay so the given scale therefore x axis they are saying it's a negative 3 is less or equal to x less or equal to 3 okay so negative 3 here so we shall say uh, we just put our ruler here okay and uh, check or draw first let me say we draw the the line for x axis so this is my x axis okay so i'll put my x right here and uh, so here I'll say this is where my O is. This is where my center is. So they said uh, two centimeters to represent one unit. So if this is uh, zero, of course, my one will be right here, my two here, and my three, according to the range. So this is one, okay? This is uh, a two. This is a uh, three, okay? So this side... We shall have the same negative 1, negative uh, 2, and uh, negative uh, 3. Okay. So once we do this, we now go to the 
y-axis. So the y-axis, you also do the line like that. Okay, so this is my line over here. So uh, under y-axis, they have said negative 10 is less or equal to y, less or equal to 20. That's the range. And also, 2 centimeters. We know that this box is 2 centimeters. So, from here to here, it's 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters, just like that. So, 2 centimeters to represent 5 units. So, we'll be moving in 5. So, 5, okay? From 5, we go to 10. From 10, we go to 15. From 15, we go to 20. So this is my y-axis. And then down, uh, the same method. So from uh, negative 5 here, we go to negative 10 because we're ending at a negative 10. So this is a negative 10, okay? All right, so now we can start plotting. So the first set of coordinates, if you're able to see, it's right here. So negative 3, comma, negative 9. K is negative 9. So negative 3, comma, negative 9. So what are we getting? We're getting, uh, oh, where is the point? The point will be right here. So this is negative 3. If negative 10 is right here, of course, negative 9 will be right here. So in other ways, uh, or you you need to understand what each or how to find each point. So 9, how did I know that this is where 9 is? If you follow nicely, we are skipping one line. So if this is a 0, we have a 0 0.5. This is 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, just like that. Up to here, this is where... Um, uh, 8.5 is and 9 is right here. So this is where my 9 is, negative 9, okay? Or if you want to understand what each small line mean, you just get the number which is right here, okay? This is 5. You just say 5 divided by 10, okay? And it's giving us a half. So this is 0 0.5. So each small line here is 0 0.5. So if this is 0 0.5, uh, here... It's 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, just like that, up to 5, okay? The same thing must be done going this way. So you just get a 1, this number here, 1 divided by 10. So 1 divided by 10. It's giving us a, a 0 0.1. So it's, this is a small line going uh, following the x-axis. This is 0 0.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then 1, just like that. So that's it, okay? So now uh, we've, we've plotted this one, or we've put the point here. So next it's negative uh, 2, 5. So negative 2, 5 is right here. Hopefully you can see I've just gotten it from the table, negative 2, 5, okay? So x-axis, negative 2. Y-axis, it's 5. Next, it's negative 1,7. So 7, this is uh, 5, 6, 7 is right here. So this is where my 7 is. Next, it's uh, 0, 0,3. So 0, 0,3 is uh, 1, 2, and 3 there. Let me see properly. This is 1. I'm skipping one line. This is 2. And this is it, my 3. So it's right here. This is where the point is. Next is the 1, comma, negative 1. It's it, right here. Just on, just straight with the, a 1 here. This is 1, comma, uh, 1, comma, negative 1 is right here. Because this is 0. So negative 1 is here for x for y axis. Next is 2, comma, 1. It's uh, over here. Next is uh, 3, comma, 15. So 3 comma 15, it's a over here. So all these coordinates, I'm getting them from the table. Okay. We have been given a table in the in the question. So now it's uh, the issue of joining now. We start joining the, the points. So this is how 
it will look like okay i'm joining the points so you must make sure that uh, your points are properly joined okay like that so this is the, our graph so we can even put that this is y is equal to x power 3 minus 5 x plus 3 okay all right so after doing this you now go to the next question and the next question here they are saying uh, solve okay the equation okay solve the equation uh x power 3 minus 5 x is equal to 0. So uh, the equation looks like this. Uh, x power 3 minus 5 x is equal to 0. So what we need to do here is to check does this equation look like uh, the graph here let me let me copy the graph or the function for the graph which is the uh, right here do they look the same if you can see nicely this side and uh, this side do they look the same a little bit here we have uh, x power 3 here we have also x power 3 negative 5x and negative 5x but we don't have a 3 so what are we going to do we shall try to make this look like this one. So it will be x power 3 minus 5 x plus a 3. A 3 is missing here. Is equal to 0 plus a 3. So we add a 3 both sides so that we, we make this equation look a little bit like this one. But the, like the function that we have. So to simplify this one, it's, it will look like this. Like this, yes, and this is what we wanted. So if you can see, all this thing right here is the same as this. So we shall say, a y is equal to this. So y, we shall put y here is equal to what is to the right side, which is a three. So this is what we need to graph. Y is equal to three. So we shall go to our graph and check where is y is equals to 3. So y is equals to 3 is right here. So this is the 1, 2, 3. So it's right here. So make your graph like that. I mean your line, or you graph your line, or you draw your line. So this is uh, this is uh, the line. Even put that this is y is equal to 3. So now, Start identifying uh, identifying the intersecting point. So we have this one, we have uh, this one, and we also have uh, this one. Okay, these are the intersecting points. So now, after identifying these intersecting points, you now get the x values. So here, what is my x value? If this is a uh, negative two, two point one, two point two. So I shall say, this is actually question 3a. So my, my x will be equal to negative 2.2. .2. Another solution there, x will be equal to here 0. Another solution, x will be equal to here, if I follow the line nicely, this will be equal to 2.2. .2. So for these values of x, because we may have different answers because of the graphs that we have. So don't worry too much if uh, you get different answers, okay? But it should be close to the original answer, okay? So here, if you find 2.1, you can still be marked, okay? Or 2.3, you can be marked, okay? So that's it. Um... Uh, we now go to the next question where they are saying estimate the area of the bounded, uh, the area bounded by the cape. Y is equal to 3, this one, Y is equal to 3, and X is equal to negative 2. So negative 2 is right here. 
So, uh, when finding the area, you draw those lines. So, x is equals to negative 2 is here. x is equal to negative 2. y is equals to 3. We, we drew it already. It's right here. So, the region that we are looking for is uh, this one here. This is the region that uh, we are looking for. Okay. So, now to find the area... Uh, so this is, uh, I'll put my, my solution here. This is uh, uh, question 3B. So make sure that you are indicating the question numbers. So to find the area, I will first find the area of uh, a box, this box, or here, or this box, the full box. So I know that uh, this is a rectangle. So a rectangle, it's L times B. A times B. So now if I check what is my length over these boxes, these big boxes. So from here to here, it's 5. Okay? So and from here to here, it's 1. So it will be 1 times 5, which is equals to 5. So this is uh, the area of each box, each rectangle, this bigger rectangle. So after doing that, we go to the shaded region. Okay, so now you start identifying the boxes, the number of boxes which are there. Okay, so we have got uh, this box which has been cut. This box, uh, let me say this box has been cut. This box has also been cut. This box has been cut. This box has been cut. So there are four boxes which are involved here. There's this part, one. There's also this part, two. Is this part three and this part four? So we shall say four boxes, okay, times okay, five over two here, or everything. Um, or oh, let me say this this four is coming from the number of boxes that have been cut. There are four boxes, okay. Now, when you get those boxes which have been cut to show that they have been cut, divide by a two which is giving you what? A 2. And then you say times area of the finished box, which will give us a 10. So the solution here will be 10 square units. Or so you just write it like this. This is our solution. We now go to the last question, where we've been asked to find the equation of the tangent to the cave. So this is why... And then we have this plus 3 and uh, power 3 there. So the first thing will be to find uh, the dy dx of this, which will just be this one here. Here we shall have uh, this and uh, a 2. So maybe you may be wondering that what have I done? I've just multiplied this by the number that is in front of the brackets this power so it's a three times one it's a three and then to the power which is here i subtract a one so three minus one it will give me a two next find the derivative of what is inside here with respect to x so it will just be a two now put it there so that you multiply it with this so it will be dy over dx is equal to six two x plus three and the power two Okay, so this is uh, the derivative, m. This is a derivative, okay? So now, to, to finish it up, we shall put the value of uh, x here. We have been given the question, the value of x is uh, negative, uh, negative 1. And then we solve. So when we solve, we solve everything. This will give us negative 2. Here we shall have a negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1, it's a uh, 1. 1 to the power 2 is still 1. 1 multiplied by 6. We shall have 6. So our gradient is a 6. So now, after finding this gradient, we we know that eh, this same, uh, this, yeah, we, yeah, after finding this gradient, we shall find now the point. So the point is uh, negative 1, comma, the y value, we just get this x value. We've been given the x value, which is, uh, which is, which is, uh, negative 1, and put it where x is here, and solve for the y value. 
So we shall say uh, there are two. Let me punch on my calculator. So we have two uh, multiplied by negative two there and uh, negative one. Okay, plus three close power three. What are we getting? It's a one. So the y value is also a one. Okay. So now we use the formula for finding uh, line uh, equation of a straight line. Okay. So here it is x. So now since we have a gradient here, we solve for c. So we shall say uh, one is equal to uh, six m is six. The x value here is negative one plus c. So 1 is equal to negative 6 plus C. And when we solve for C here, our C will just be equal to 7. Okay? Because this will cross the equal sign. So it will be 1 plus 6. It will give us a 7. Okay? So now we shall say Y is equal to 6X, okay, plus 7 as our answer. Okay? So I've just put this where M is and then the x I've maintained, the y I've maintained, the c I've put in 7. Because we found our c here to be equal to 7. And this is our answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment. And uh, to those who are coming or watching uh, my or visiting my YouTube channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Set the notification bell such that when I post something new, you are the first one to be notified and to those who need online tuitions this is a number you can contact me on okay if you want online tuitions you'll be sitting for your gce or internal whatsapp me and um, inquire more on what you're supposed to do in order for you to be part of uh, the online classes bye bye